There's plenty of leadership to go around for Moline senior Alyssa Brems, whether it's in tennis or on the basketball court, or for a revived Fellowship of Christian Athletes huddle. She is eager to step up and make a difference. I was in PC's class my junior year, and he invited me to FCA, and there was only like four kids there that went my junior year, and then this year I wanted to keep it alive because PC is a great teacher, and he's a good sponsor, so I didn't want him. I knew he loved it, so I wanted to keep it going too. And when he asked if I wanted to be president, I just took mm -hmm. the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Why is it working so well? Why do you think? I mean, there's 25 kids there the other day. Mm -hmm. um, I've been. Um, I made a group on Facebook and like invited some people, and I've like been texting them to make sure they still come. And I think most people don't come because they don't know about it or mm -hmm. it's too early for them, is what they say. Yeah. So I've just been trying to convince them to come and once they come once they really like it and they decide to come back each week. Mm -hmm. How hungry is this school for revival too? I mean uh, I mean every school is but did you sense uh, kids are really receptive to the gospel and some of the message that you guys are doing? Oh yeah the kids like what we're doing and I think the little devotional book that we have helps a lot with the lessons and I think it's making everyone grow stronger in their faith. And FCA I mean I help out, but she's definitely taking charge of FCA and being the president and everything, and she's doing a really good job with that. Mm -hmm. What makes her so good at it, do you think? Um, I, she's just good with people, and she is a good, I mean, she's just a good leader. That's how she's always been since, ever, ever since we were little. Mm -hmm. Where does like prayer fit into this, too? Have you guys seen a lot of results because you've been so serious-minded about getting FCA to roll in the right way? Yeah, as that works. Prayer works, and especially in tennis, we're, we're doubles partners, so we pray before matches, and it really helps. Alyssa's legacy is firmly in place at Moline High School, but she is motivated to finish strong as she anticipates graduating next spring. And she says part of that motivation is trying to bring revival to her school. And she says FCA is a great way to do it. When I play, I play for him because he's given me these talents for a reason. Mm -hmm. How, how uh, important is it that, that people use that platform, you know, whether it's basketball, whether it's the chess team, whatever it might be, you know? Um, I feel like God definitely, like, if you're on his side, he will bring you great things. And I just want more people to feel his power and greatness. She just has a nice little belief in herself, and I'm sure that starts with her faith and playing and at a high level for him and being able to you know, succeed the way she does. God, like, I feel like everyone needs to like know each other and like become like a family and stuff. And then like obviously you want to bring God into it and talk about that. And I feel like once you leave that room, it's just easier to walk the hallways and your uh, mood is brightened for the rest of the day. Are you the one who's going to help start Fellowship of Christian Athletes on your college, high school, or middle school campus? To find out how, you can contact me or check out our website at illawafca.org. With the FCA Story of the Week, I'm Dan Pearson.